The open skies and high plains of New Mexico have been home to the dreams of daring pioneers for thousands of years and can be found along the New Mexico Space Trail created by the New Mexico Museum of Space History in Alamogordo. The early peoples of New Mexico actively followed the stars, and several of these prehistoric solar and stellar observatory sites still remain nearby. Cultural artifacts and petroglyphs show their tracking of solar alignments, equinox, winter and summer solstice as early as 2,000 years ago. Back in the 1930s, Dr. Robert Goddard, known as the father of modern rocketry, launched a rocket that flew only seven seconds, but reached 2,000 feet, traveling at 500 miles an hour, an earth-shattering event at that time. Building on Goddard's work, Werner von Braun, the inventor of Germany's V-2 rocket, continued his developments in rocket propulsion and design in southern New Mexico after World War II. The race to space was on as NASA began stretching its wings in the 1950s and 60s, with the U.S. Army White Sands Proving Ground being the test bed for most everything that America launched. But the boundaries being pushed didn't always mean going into space. Colonel John Paul Stapp of Holloman Air Force Base changed the perceptions of what was humanly possible by withstanding G-forces up to 35 Gs on a rocket sled. Colonel Joe Kittinger jumped from a helium balloon at an altitude of 102,000 feet and achieved supersonic speed traveling through the atmosphere before deploying his parachute, a world record that stood for decades until 2012, when Felix Baumgartner successfully jumped out of New Mexican skies from over 128,000 feet. That's 24 miles above the Earth's surface. Situated on a high desert plain, southern New Mexico provides perfect launch conditions with sunny, clear skies and the benefit of being 4,600 feet above sea level. So nearly the first mile up into space is free compared to coastal launch facilities. With plenty of dark sky locations across the state, New Mexico is also the home to many observatories, including the very large array Apache Point Observatory, and the National Solar Observatory. When Scaled Composite Spaceship One won the Ansari X Prize competition in 2004 in Mojave, California, a new wave of commercial spaceflight experimentation began. Southern New Mexico's exceptional launch conditions made it the ideal location for hosting the X Prize Cup from 2005 to 2008 with Armadillo Aerospace finally winning the competition in 2008, successfully completing NASA's Centennial Challenge. Now New Mexico is again at the forefront of space travel with Spaceport America, the world's first purpose-built commercial spaceport, providing an operational home and experimental facilities to commercial space entrepreneurs. New Mexico's rich aerospace history and important contributions to the exploration of space are a deep foundation to build upon as it leads the way into the second space age.